All right, hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another video here. And I wanted to share something really fun that I did today uh, with you guys. You know, I've taken many trips on commercial airliners, but I've never been in one of those little small planes like a Cessna or whatever, and I've never flown one, obviously. So a friend of mine and I were talking, because he's also into flying in airplanes, and we both play um, X-Plane on our Mac, flight simulators and all that stuff. And he was saying, you should do these dis one of these discovery flights. And I said, well, what in the world is a discovery flight? He says, uh, discovery flight is basically where you, you pay about 100 bucks or so, and you go up in a little Cessna with a professional pilot for about an hour, and they let you kind of try it out, and they let you get a feel for the controls and you know, do some flying and they teach you the very, very basics. It's just a nice way to try before you buy to figure out if you want to go into flying or not. So I did that today. I had a chance to fly a plane for a little while today. And it was a lot of fun. I got to say, I really enjoyed it. I did shoot some video while I was in the plane, but um, of course, being a little nervous when I got in, I, I showed up at the airport with a GoPro filled bag. I had three GoPros with, well, two GoPros in my Sony action cam. I had them all with me. I was thinking I'm going to put the cameras in the plane. It's going to be great. And then I'm just sort of super focused on not being overly nervous when I was there. So, you know, I'm walking around, I see all these little tiny planes and, you know, of course I didn't want to be that guy that's like, oh, can I melt eight GoPros all over the place? You know? So I went with the, my little GoPro Hero session up on my forehead the entire time, which is great because I got a, you know, point of view shot of the whole experience. Although it didn't even occur to me that the GoPro was sitting at the level of the top of the roof of the plane. So um, naturally, I didn't get the greatest video footage when I was in there. There's some of it that's useful, and I'm gonna put in some of that right now. So what you're seeing is actually just some footage of me. Um, I was taxiing down the uh, taxiway. He let me sort of get a feel for the foot pedals that are used to uh, steer the plane on the ground. I didn't even realize you're not using the yoke to actually turn the plane on the ground. Uh, and then I was not doing that very well at all. I was, in fact, I was driving like I was drunk because I was, doing this on the center line. And unlike in a car, you have to stay in the lane between the lines, but on a, in an airplane, you need to drive down the straight line. So a couple times he was saying, we well, got to get, get back on the center line, get back on the center line. So I didn't really pass that test. Well, it wasn't a test, but you know what I mean. And uh, as we're getting towards the runway, he starts explaining the whole takeoff process. And he says, well, the takeoff is basically going to be a high-speed taxi down the runway. And I'm thinking, uh, you're going to take us off there. I'm thinking, I, if I can't taxi in a straight line at a slow speed, I sure do not want to go down the runway at multiple times the speed I'm going right now and be weaving all over the place. So... So we, we, we got up in the air and he, he said, oh, we're going to do this together. So I had my hands on the yoke and we both pulled back and it's amazing. Those little Cessnas are amazing. And before I go any further, I also just want to say to those that may be considering this or, you know, kind of concerned about flying in such a small plane, it really is not as small as you may think. It's not as cramped as you may think. You're not like, you're not like this with the pilot. I mean, you're we're rubbing elbows with him, but it's it's comfortable. I was I was comfortable for the whole flight. I was up in the air for about forty minutes, so I was perfectly comfortable. I you know I had had no problem. You know if you're if you're a, have broad shoulders or you're just kind of a bigger person, you know you, you'll you'll feel you'll feel the size of it. It's definitely not luxurious, but it's it's not cramped either. It's cozy. I'll just say that it's cozy. Don't let that deter you. You know go for it because you're only going to be sitting in the plane for forty five minutes at most, so it's really not that bad. And the, the pilot that I was with was incredibly skilled. He's had thousands of hours in the air. He had a lot of experience and it really showed when we came to land. Speaking of landing, here's a quick little clip that I want to show you because he did let me talk to air traffic control. Austin Tower 652, Mike Alpha with you for the left. Austin Tower, runway 17 left for the left. Clear to land to Mike Alpha. So yeah, I talked to air traffic control. I got us landing clearance. That was awesome. The landing was incredible. It was incredible. Uh, Austin Airport has two parallel runways, one seven left and one seven right. We're flying 
across the airport. So here's the runway right here. We're flying across the airport like this. We're about 2,000 feet up and we're flying like this. And then I got us clearance to land. And then uh, air traffic control says, okay, you are number one for the field, meaning we're next. Because apparently back this way on our final approach was a jumbo jet of some variety. I, I didn't catch who it was, but I think it might have been United or something. But anyway, we're flying over the runway like this. And then I'm thinking, okay, so we're probably going to do a big loop and come down. No, that's not what we did. So we're like this. Pilot Mike turns this way. Then we got final clearance to land. Mike flies us right alongside. Here's my, my arm is the runway here. We're flying right alongside the runway. I look out the left window, and my outside the left window is 17 right, right on the ground. I'm thinking, shouldn't that be in front of us? And it was about four seconds later because we're flying over. He does a complete 180, almost vertically turning the plane around and then just sets us down on the runway, smooth like silk. It was the greatest landing I have ever seen. And I could not imagine experiencing that in a jumbo jet. But in a little tiny Cessna, it was amazing. It was incredible. I really, I would love to go up with Mike just to do that landing again because it was just absolutely thrilling. Um, it kind of came out on the video, so I'm going to show you the landing right now. incredible. So I had such a blast today and I wanted to just send a quick thanks to my friend Nate who came with me and he took a lot of pictures. You know, as far as kind of where to go from here, usually people do these discovery flights either just for the fun of it or to sort of determine if they want to sort of proceed with a, uh, you know, getting a pilot's license or anything like that. I'm going to sleep on it, think about it for a while. Um, I don't have any, I'm not rushing to get my pilot's license. Um, because flying was really, really more difficult than I was expecting it to be. I wasn't really expecting a set it and forget it kind of thing where you just sort of get up there and you hold it like this and nothing happens. You're moving all over the place. You're, you've got turbulence that's kind of rocking you around a little bit. Um, and there's a ton of multitasking that has to happen when it comes to like how to get, how to keep the plane up in the air. Cause you're looking straight ahead to keep your nose level, uh, you know, keep your, your glare shield on the horizon there and make sure you're flying level. You're keeping an eye on your gauges to make sure you're not going up or down. Because even if you look like you're flying level, your gauge could be telling you you're going up, you know, a hundred feet a minute or down a hundred feet a minute. So you got to keep an eye on that. You got to keep your eye, eye on your altimeter to make sure you're not going too high or too low because you, you have aircraft above you and aircraft underneath you. So you have to make sure you're staying at the level that you're, uh, you know, prescribed to by air traffic control. You got to make sure you're on your right heading as well. So if they, if air traffic control tells you to turn heading three three zero, that you're going three three zero, you're not going one sixty or something else. So there's so many things you have to do to keep your plane operating uh, safely. That's not even talking about big jets and everything. This is in a one and en single engine Cessna, tiny little plane. So. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to think about it. I, I think the next thing I'm going to do is a discovery flight in a helicopter, and I will do better video on that one. But yeah, the whole experience was spectacular, and, and I, I cannot recommend it more highly. Uh, you know, don't be, don't be afraid of the small plane. Don't be afraid of that. It's extremely, extremely safe. And when you go up with a pilot that knows what they're doing, uh, you know, in which these discovery pilots will always, you know, be knowledgeable and they'll be helpful. 
Um, you know, just let them know what your limits are as well. If you don't want to do any flying at all, sometimes people like to go up just to get the experience and maybe just take pictures and everything. They'll fly the plane the whole time. They don't mind. Just tell them, you know, be open with how you feel and be open with what you want to do and what you're comfortable with and they will work with you because they want you to have a good experience and they want you to have fun. So I definitely had a great time. Check out Above and Beyond Aviation in Austin here. And again, huge thanks to Mike for a wonderful, uh, wonderful discovery flight. I really appreciated it. And I uh, hope you guys get a chance to check him out uh, or any of the folks at Above and Beyond, uh, you know, for a discovery flight uh, or in your area if you have a, an airport that'll do it. I'm going to post a full-length video as well, just the unedited raw footage if you want to watch the whole Discovery flight. Um, but aside from that, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.